This question of should I or should I not stop pornography and masturbation has been in existence for a very long time and the question is increasing by the day as a whole lot of people are getting involved asking the same question. You know, that before you ask that question, have you ever wondered why you've not asked, is it okay if I eat food? Is it okay if I get a job? Is it okay if I go to the gym? Does it have any side effects going to the gym? Does it have any side effect going to the college? You don't ask these questions because they are just um, approved inside of you. Yeah, but you ask this question because there is already a, a thoughts going on inside your mind. Yes, you are already having this conflict, whether this is nice for you, whether this is good or bad for you. And then you're asking the question because you're just looking for an external validation. Yes, you're just looking for an external approval. Yes, for you to seal it and say, yes, of course, I knew that this is okay for me. You want to know if other people are doing it. If you want to know how many people are doing it or this is only you or what exactly people other people think about it so that you will know if you will continue the act or not and in this video we are going to be treating pornography and masturbation from a different perspective you know initially when such question comes up people want to answer it um, from the moral and religious angle yes and of course so many people will still want to argue about it because they will say show me where it's written in the bible that i shouldn't do this then i will stop it and questions like that but i want to bring one thing to your knowledge you know pornography is a video content here yeah, and that is one thing that people um don't know about and just like every other film that you watch it's been produced by a, a group of crew members and then it's been directed and then most importantly edited yes and this is no different um when it comes to porn videos and that is one part that people neglect and then they want to um have that fantasy and everything that they see in porn videos yes and this is the huge 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 negative effect that porn videos will ever have to, in your life yes this is where it messes things up because you have your the the, the porn characters um actually perform those acts under supervision and then the videos are edited which means most of the acts are not real most of the things that you see in those videos are not real and then when you watch them you fantasize about them then you want to experience those things not knowing that these are not achievable in real life and when you want to actually do them in real life you either hurt yourself or you hurt your partner both physically and emotionally for instance you see a video where a group of people have sex together or uh, a man have sex with multiple, multiple girls and then that is your fantasy that is what you want to do and then you want to either talk um, to your girl into having a threesome or something like that and which is actually stupid because in real life things don't work that way yes in real life you don't get to uh, uh, um, um, you don't get to sleep with your housemate and then your wife will do nothing about that and then if you have a housemate and you if you have a housemate and you are seeing porn videos where a man sleeps with a housemate and then the wife is cool with that you will want to try that yes it's that simple so if you don't want porn since it's not real to have that negative effect on your brain and then what will happen if you don't get to uh, achieve those fantasies it will make you feel like you are not sexually satisfied you're not bringing sexual satisfaction to yourself it's because you've set those high standards um, through the porn videos you've watched you don't now see um, the normal sex that you have with your partner as, as as enough you want to take things over the limit and most of those things that you're seeing since they are not real when you want to practice them in real life you either hurt yourself or you endanger the health of your partner as well and most times your partner will want to try those things that you requested because they want to preserve their relationship which uh, at the end of the day hurts both of you yeah so that if having said this talking about um, i will still come back to uh, um, pornography in a bit talking about masturbation as well just like pornography masturbation have no no standard like there's no law to tell you if you want to do it or not but consider this there are levels of 
uh, um, um, masturbation addiction. Yeah, and if you are still in entry level, which means you just masturbate when you feel honey and there's no one around, then you do it to feel good, then you are still okay. But I just want you to know, and if you are watching this video as well and you are in this level, because that the, the level I'm talking about is when actually um, masturbation comes to you whether you want it or not you might be busy doing other things you might be busy at work and then it comes yes the odd just comes for you to do it and then you cannot say no it, it compels you it pushes you until you you do it and after doing it you're just left like that the urge left leaves you and then you feel so bad you feel so empty you feel used yeah, this is the level that um, you don't want to experience. And if you are already uh, in this level, you will know how difficult it is to get out of it. If, if, if you put all of these things in consideration, if this is what you want to achieve, and then masturbation also goes to the level where you just get satisfied why doing only that yes you, you cannot get a uh, rich uh, maximum satisfaction why being with your partner there have been issues where people after making out with their partner immediately they go to masturbate yes it ruins so many relationships uh, it just unbalances um, your relationship and if it's something that you can deal with if you are comfortable with masturbation turning you into a slave coming to you at will uh, without uh, minding what you are up to without minding what you're doing having to just suffer you to to to, to do perform that act even when you want it or not some people go to the point of masturbating multiple times five ten times fifteen times in it every single day so if it's something that you're cool um, with that you are ready to to handle when it comes and then you want to go on masturbating then it's fine yes this this is um up to you nobody will tell you what to do as there is no law like i said um governing this particular issue yeah also if just uh, having said this uh the same thing goes with pornography if you um are conscious that this is a produced film and then you are okay and have enough integrity to handle it as such maybe you just want to watch it to to, uh, to learn some certain things then it's still up to you but just know that it can really 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 affect your love life and your sexual relationship and that's all for for today um i hope you learned something from this video if you did give it a thumb up and leave your thought in the comment section i want to hear from you and if you've not subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe because i drop videos on how to build a good um, and healthy relationship and until next time my name is johnson davide bye